to buy this piece of cake. It'll cost 11 cents. In our candy transaction, we showed the E2 mechanism. The chocolate represented the strong base, the pennies were the hydrogens, and the dime was the halide. As the strong base comes in, it removes the hydrogen, forming a double bond between the carbons, forcing out the halide. In the transition state, we show the hydrogen and base bond being formed, the hydrogen and carbon bond being broken, forming the double bond between the carbons, forcing out the halide, giving you an alkene, a halide ion, and the conjugated acid. E2 mechanisms are bimolecular reactions, meaning that the rate relies on both the base and the alkyl halide. E2 mechanisms favor tertiary carbons because they form more substituted alkenes. These reactions require strong bases, and if you have a secondary carbon, if you use a bulky base, it will favor the E2 mechanism. They also need good leaving groups, and unlike the E1 mechanism, rearrangements are impossible.